Hello YouTube, welcome to this three part video on um, how to set up a centralized user management with Kerberos, OpenLDAP and NFS. Um, this will be a three part series. Um, in the first part I'll be showing you how to configure a Kerberos server and in the second part uh, I'll be showing you how to set up a OpenLDAP server and we'll be finishing with the third part where I'll be configuring NFS and AutoFS servers to auto mount the um, home directories. So we'll be using Kerberos for authentication, um, OpenLDAP for user information and NFS for mounting uh, the home directories. Um, I'm going to be using three virtual machines, SendVM01, um, SendVM02, SendVM03. Um, so I've got them opened in Tmux uh, in three separate tabs, um, SendVM02 and 03. So I'm going back to SendVM01 and I will be configuring Kerberos, OpenLDAP, NFS, everything basically um, on SendVM01. Uh, I'll be creating user accounts and home directories in SendVM01. So SendVM02 and 03 will be my clients. Okay, back to business. So I'm going to install Kerberos related packages on this server um, so that it can act as a Kerberos server. So what I need is a single package that's called KRB5Server. So once that's installed, we need to edit three files. So let's do the first one, which is etsy.krb5.coms. So here, um, I'm going to change the default realm. Um, so I'm going to change example.com to um, jungle.kvm in my case. So before that, I need to uncomment all these lines. And I need to change the KDC server, which in my case is SendVM01. Um, that is it in this file. So quit and save. And the second file I'm going to edit is war Kerberos KRB5 KDC. KDC.conf. So here again, I'm going to change my realm to jungle.kvm. Save it, and the final file is going to be kdm5.acl. Again, change the realm. So we are done with um, um, changing, updating the configuration files, and now we need to create a Kerberos database, which can be done using kdb5 underscore util command. I'm going to create a database. Minus s option is for stashing the password, and you're going to pass the real name which is jungle.kvm it's going to ask me for a password I'm going to enter one that's done and we need to um, enable a couple of um, Kerberos related servers So these are the two services, kadmin and krb5kdc. Um, let's start these services.
Okay, let's verify if it's running. That's running. That's running too. Um, we need to uh, open firewall port for Kerberos service. Let's see if the firewall D command supports uh, the Kerberos service. Otherwise, we have to um, enter the port manually. Okay, so we've got Kerberos as a service, which means we can use the add service command like this. And we need to reload to take effect immediately. Okay. Um, so now uh, the service is running we need to create a user principle for the admin user um, which can be done using kadmin.local and let's create a principle it's going to ask me for a password Okay, so while I'm here, I'm going to create um, a host principle for SendMeMO2 and SendMeMO3. It's same as creating user principle, but this case, um, I'm going to use rand key to generate a random key and stuff. Um, key admin tool asking me for a password um, for host principle. done and I'm gonna add one for Sendium 3 so we have generated uh, or we have added a host principle for these two virtual machines and what I'm going to do now is create a key tab for these two machines so key tab add minus k specify um, which file is going to be your key tab file And let's do one for Sendium 3 That's done. And you can list the principles using list prince command. So these are the two um, host principles that we added. And this is the um, admin user principle that we added. I'm going to quit out of this shell and um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna copy um, the key tabs that I generated now to send me a mode two and send me a mode three uh, and import these key tabs locally onto those machines into Etsy KRB five dot key tab. Um, I also need to copy Etsy KRB five dot conf file um, because basically it's going to be the same on all uh, these machines. So instead of editing all those changes that are edited here in SendMeMO1 I'm just going to copy that file as well that saves me um, some time Okay, um, I think I'm done with SendVMO1. Let's go to SendVMO2 and let's see if we have all those files. Keytab and krb5.conf. Okay, um, so basically on clients, 
uh, the package we are interested in is spam underscore krb5 and krb5 workstation so let me install those packages okay now if you look at hckrb5.conf this is basically the same default krb5.conf file that we saw um, in senvm01 so let's copy that's done and yeah we've got kt util um what i'm going to do now is um read the key tab that i copied from sendvm01 and write it to hckrb 5keytab rkt for read key tab sendvm02.keytab and i'm going to write it write key tab I'm going to write it to hckrb 5ktab and if you do a list it will list you all the entries in there it's showing too much entries that's because it has I'm not sure it has um, done a read key tab and write key tab I don't know why it's showing these many entries but that's nothing to worry about and let's do the same on senvm o three as well yum install pam underscore krb5 krb5 hyphen workstation okay let's copy the krb5 configuration file and let's import the key tab let's see what's in there okay that's cool okay um i think and uh, that's pretty much what i wanted to um show you in this first part so we have got our cobra server running we've added um, a host principle for senvm02 senvm03 um and we have imported those key tabs into the local hckrb5 um, dot key tab file so it's all ready uh, from the Kerberos point it's ready um, and in my second part I will be um, installing and configuring OpenLDAP server um, for storing the user information and on that second part I will be um, creating user accounts uh, and migrating user accounts from the local Unix uh, password file to the OpenLDAP server and do um, a lot of stuff it's going to be a bit lengthier video the second part uh, but that's more interesting okay i think that's it thanks for watching see you in my next video thank you